Hey, it's me, Mr. J, and welcome to today's drawing challenge. Do you have a couple minutes? Because today's challenge is draw a super snail. So grab something to draw on and something to draw with, and let's do this. All right, let's start with just your normal everyday snail. What simple shapes and lines can I use to get started? Well, let's see. I'm gonna start with the head first. I'm gonna go bump, and then I'm gonna swoop down for its body. Boom. And then swoop down again. Boom. So there's kind of its snaily body. And now the shell, up and around. Up and around. Do you know what's really cool about snail shells? Is how it goes in this little spiral. Around and around and around. All right, snail's coming along. And its eyeballs are up like this. And the little dots for the pupils. Now, our snail is no ordinary snail. This is a super snail. How can I make my snail even more amazing? More super. Do you think we should include a cape? A utility belt? Maybe a mask to hide her secret identity? Well, I know I'm gonna give her determined eyes. So we're gonna draw these lines across here. And maybe, ooh, teeth like this. Ooh, that's an intense super snail. Ooh, how about an S on her belly? For her logo. Definitely a cape. Ooh, there she is. You know what? This super snail looks trustworthy. Like, she could handle just about anything that comes her way. I would trust this super snail in all kinds of dangerous situations. Yeah. So let's check in. Trusting someone means that you believe they will keep you safe, that they will help you be your best, and they will be there when you need them. How do you feel when you're around someone you trust? Do you feel like you can be yourself? And what does it look like on your face when you are with someone you trust? Are you all smiles? Or are you able to completely let go and cry and cry because you know you are safe with them to share all of your feelings? Finding someone to trust is an important part of life. We don't need to look in the sky for superheroes or even down on the ground like our good friend, Super Snail. There are super people in our daily lives. They are our trusted adults. If you notice, every time we draw together, I say that you can use your drawing to talk with a parent or trusted adult. So let's get specific. Just who is a trusted adult? A trusted adult can be a mom, a dad, another family member, a teacher, or a family friend. They are someone who you feel safe with, that you can share your thoughts and emotions with without feeling like they will judge you or make you feel worse. When I was a kid, there were several trusted adults in my life who let me be me. They were people I was able to talk to, to have fun with, and who made me feel important. One of them, she taught me how to make puppets. She had the coolest toy closet, and she was ready to be creative at any time. But there were also other adults that I realized weren't going to be a trusted adult for me. They said my feelings didn't matter. They got easily mad at me for making mistakes. I didn't feel safe around them. Good thing I had other adults in my life ready to help me. The important thing to remember is that trusted adults aren't perfect because they're still people. They are super people, not perfect superheroes. There are times they may not have all the answers, or they might even disappoint you. But super people will still make you feel safe and they are someone special to share stories, experiences, and emotions with. They can be someone that you run to with exciting news or when things didn't go right at school. Remember the most important part, this person or these people should make you feel safe. Once you know who your trusted adult is, your super person, Use your drawing to talk with them about their importance in your life. They might know that they mean a lot to you, but have you ever taken the time to tell them that? This can feel like a tricky conversation to start, 
so why not use your drawing to get started? I can only imagine how incredibly super your snail is. Oh, they might even be flying or lifting heavy objects. I bet your snail is super fast. Well, here is my super snail. Well, thanks for joining me today as we drew a super snail. I look forward to seeing you next time for another drawing challenge.